In this video, you'll learn how to remove those ugly scroll bars from your bubble repeating group in just a matter of minutes. Throughout the video, you'll be guided through a easy to follow list of step-by-step -step instructions, and together we can start leveling up your own bubble skills. Look, I'm gonna hand this one over to Jason, and today he's gonna share everything you need to know. Hello, I'm Jason. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to hide the scroll bar in a repeating group in Bubble. Now, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen a scroll bar. You can find one on pretty much every web page that has ever existed since the dawn of time. They're commonly found to the far right or bottom of a web page, and they let you move around the viewing area vertically or horizontally. Now, if you're one of the few who doesn't know what a scroll bar is, here's an example. You can see the space provided for this block of text is not enough. So we have a vertical scroll bar and a horizontal scroll bar. Now Bubble automatically adds a scroll bar to your repeating groups if not all of the data can fit in the space provided for it. Thanks Bubble. This is great. However, sometimes we don't want it. This is an Instagram clone I'm working on. We have stories. We have posts. We have dogs. We also have scroll bars. If you look really closely, you can see to the right here of the posts, there's a little scroll bar. And also under the stories, there's a little scroll bar. Now I'm fine with the scroll bar on the posts, but I want to remove it from the stories. I think it's already clear enough to the user in this app that they can scroll horizontally to see more stories. Bubble doesn't give us an easy way to remove it, but you can do it with some CSS code. I know, I just said the word code, don't panic. I'll hold your hand, we'll do it together. All you need to do is copy and paste. So let's do this. Step one, go to settings and then general. Scroll down a bit, oh look, a scroll bar. We're gonna check the option, expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. Check. Now if we go back to design, open the property editor for any element on our page, you should have the ID attribute option right at the bottom here. We're gonna use this, so don't skip this step. Now open the property editor for the repeating group that you want to hide the scroll bar for. In this case, I wanna hide it for my stories. So I'm gonna open up my element tree. Here's my group stories. And if I open that up, here's my repeating group. I have my property editor open. I'm gonna scroll down to the ID attribute and give it a name, any name. I'm gonna call it Possum RG. Step two, we're gonna add an HTML element to your page. Anywhere on the page is fine. If you look in your element list, here's HTML drag it on the page. You can drop it anywhere, but it needs to be on the page somewhere. Now I have some code on my text editor here. I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it into the HTML element. This code will be available for you to copy in the description of this video. And if somehow you guys break it, or my coding sucks, which it does, we will update the code in the description. So if it looks a little different than what you see here on this video, that's fine. All the steps are the same. Step three. In the code, we have replace me. We want to replace that with the name that we put in the ID attribute of the repeating group. Remember, I put possum RG. So I'm gonna replace it with possum RG. Make sure it's spelled exactly as it is in the ID attribute of the repeating group. Okay, let's take a look. Look at that, no scroll bar. Just one more thing to keep in mind here. If I scroll down now, I have this blank space here. This is the HTML element that I put on the screen. So if I go back, I wanna make sure that in layout, First of all, we can make it really tiny. So I'm gonna make it one and one 
And second of all, we're gonna make it not visible on page load and collapse when hidden. This will make sure that it doesn't show up on the page because um, although you can't see it, it still might create blank space. Refresh that and that space at the bottom is gone. That's it, we're done. It wasn't that bad, was it? Now, please get off bubble and go walk your poor dog. And just like that, you can say farewell to those ugly scroll bars within your repeating groups. And this is an essential thing to know when you start leveling up your own bubble experience. If you wanted to stay up to date with all of my bubble resources, I'd recommend hitting that subscribe button so that way you can be the first to know when I drop a new tutorial. In the meantime, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching this tutorial and I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.